Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can set an environment variable on Ubuntu 20.04. I'll show you how you can actually persist the environment variable in such case where you power cycle your Ubuntu, that environment variable will still stay on. Let's get started. What I have is a Ubuntu OS on a container. So I'm going to attach myself using a command prompt. I'm going to make it a bit bigger here so that you can see it. Okay. Attach container. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm trying to log, create an SSH or rather a Docker session to the uh, to the Ubuntu, this Ubuntu here, right? Um, so I can run a full-fledged Ubuntu command. Let me check. I'll show you what I have here for uh, for the uh, version of the Ubuntu is 20.04 okay so how you set the uh, environment variable is this so if you type set you'll show you all the environment variable that exists on the system here so right now I I want to create a new environment variable let's say say one two three environment variable called test one two three and I hit enter and I type set you can actually see I got the environment variable here to remove the environment variable is unset test and then if you type set again, you see your environment variable is not there anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create, put back the, uh, put back the uh, environment variable again. Say uh, this time around two, four, six, and look at it here. It's there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power cycle this Ubuntu session, and you can see this blue icon here will turn gray like this guy here. So I'll press Control D. That is a Docker command. You can see it is powered off, right? Um, if I try to attach myself to the Ubuntu it will tell me that uh, the docker is not started right no such container so I'm gonna have to power cycle or restart the container and reattach myself to the Ubuntu container oh, I must have typed it wrongly Ubuntu okay so let's try again attach U B U N T U test so once I'm connected here I'm in there again so if I look at my environment variable you see there's no test environment variable previously I set up as a, a test 246 it's not there anymore right so how do you persist it that, that's one one question and also I've seen cases where you can actually use the word export let's try this set just for testing 369 right and you can look at your set you can see that the environment variable test 369 is there now if I were to press Control D to close my session or power cycle my OS Ubuntu OS and restart it again here it's running now and I go attach myself to Ubuntu test again and if I go set uh, just to show you I'm in Ubuntu again if I do set you can see that my test 369 is not there anymore right okay so let me show you how you can actually set it up uh, so that it's persistent so you're gonna have to go right now you're on the uh, the root directory right so you have to go to your home directory by uh, typing cd and a tilde like that and then you do ls if you do ls you will not see any directory because everything is hidden so you want to show hidden uh, files in there you go ls minus al it will show you uh, slightly more information in here let me expand this a bit more the file that you're gonna edit will be dot bash RC right so if you look at uh, if you type uh, cat catnate kind of thing dot bash RC you will see a bunch of text that's in here so we're gonna go ahead and edit that I'm gonna make this a bit smaller so that uh, it fits in one line so I have a text editor called Vim you can use nano or VI if you want to right? I got Vim so dot bash RC hit enter so you you'll come to this uh, you uh, use a text file that they have there so you go right at the bottom very very bottom right at the last stage here over here you type export sorry you type export space test let's say you want to call it 4 8 12 16 so you got to put equal here so test 4, 8, 12, 16, right? And hit enter. And let's save it. Press escape in Vim. And now your colon WQ to save it. 
and then uh, just to verify make sure that the uh, file is in there just to bash RC they will show you what they have there so this is what is there right now right so if I do set right now my uh, environment variable is not quite set yet so this one requires a power cycle so press ctrl D now you can see my Ubuntu session has stopped right here right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start my Ubuntu session which is essentially the same as power cycling it and now if I go and attach myself to Ubuntu again and then now I'm on in Ubuntu environment right so if I type set right now and you can see at the bottom now you have the environment variable that's uh, available for you now so it's persistent so even if I were to say power cycle again I'm gonna power cycle again you can see this will turn gray control D you can see it stopped again and if I try to connect myself back to Ubuntu they will say the container is stopped right now so go play now the container is running so, sorry or, or the Ubuntu is running you can see I'm in Ubuntu if I do set you can see that the environment variable is persistent right so that's how you do uh, persist your environment variable next thing I want to show you would be to set the path right say for example you can see your path is all this path so you want to add something at the back here you do the same thing you go back to your home directory ls minus al to show all hidden file then you open uh, this bash rc using your text editor could be anything right and go to the very bottom here and then after that over here you're gonna type export type the word path which is the word and you say dollar path uh, and you, with a colon so you are basically concatenating whatever exists in the path environment variable with say you want to map a home directory right and then after that you press escape that's on the vim colon wq to save and exit so essentially what I'm doing here is that I'm taking this path here I'm gonna add the word uh, home directory here right so just to check bash rc you can see the thing is there let me show you where the home directory is ls you can see I'm trying to root to this directory here this is uh, like that this is where I'm trying to map just for just to show a demonstration of what uh, I'm trying to do so if I were to control D to power cycle the Ubuntu session here you can see it stopped I'm gonna start it here again I'm gonna reattach my container back to the console session here LS you can see I'm in Ubuntu now again now if I do uh, set you can see if you look at the path folder here you can see the home directory is concatenated to your existing uh, path that was previously there okay I think that pretty much sums up how you set up or persist your environment variable and also uh, how you concatenate a home directory if you like this tutorial please like and subscribe other than that have a good day bye now